Rockets on the left side. Harden just crossed over Wes Johnson, and that might be the single greatest crossover in the history of the NBA. Allow me to have this dance. Down goes Johnson. Too much salt. Yo, what is up, YouTube men? They finally added James Harden's step back in NBA 2K22. It took six seasons, but it's finally here. Now, ever since this move was introduced in 2K, it's always been pretty glitchy, pretty pretty good on getting space on the defender because it was almost a travel with how far he stepped back with it it is a moving step back to see season 6 release and looking at it compared to say something like 2k20 it does look a bit patchy. you're not getting as much space as you would but that's not necessarily a bad thing with the old animation sometimes you would you would be waiting for the animation to play out and by the time you finally did finish doing it the defender would make up the space so it wasn't as good as it looked really quick i'm going to show you guys how to do this move then we're going to see some gameplay in the market of how well it works real quick shout out to james harden man he's having a rough season this year but at one point he was one of the best iso players ever so all you got to do is say the ball is in your left hand and you're running to the right you just flick down right on the right joystick and he will do the step back same thing if you're moving to the left all you got to do is flick down left on the right joystick and he'll do the moving step back now i did notice this year you can actually stop the animation you can do a jumper move immediately out of it as you see right here i hit the behind the back that is good so if somebody is closing out on it they will have to step up pretty far to get the contest and that leaves you an opening to go to the basket immediately afterwards you see for this gameplay we're going up against a level 40 two-way three-point playmaker mob ties not bad for a gamer tag you see i do the move right here get it behind the back go to the hoop exactly what i was talking about now i noticed right off the bat i don't feel like this is a moving step back where you can really just do it and shoot off of it immediately like the kyrie irving step back right here this man tries to do the dunk meter it's a high risk high reward you got to be able to time that especially since he was wide open but even if he pulls up on the james harden step back like he's doing every play so far i feel like it is going to give me the space to the hoop now there's another moving step back animation in it you saw i do it right there but it's not too different from every single other one in the game right here he jumps i'm tired patience is a virtue but this is a level 40 you see he gets the score to seven to seven bumping me boxing me a little bit right here james harden step back i wanted to shoot off that but of course it's just not giving space like it used to now for me personally i'm not loving the james harden step back i think it's decent but it's one of those drip moves where it's better to combo with other drip moves other than something you hit and then shoot off of right here he's got a sharp shooting takeover gotta hit the behind the back go for the fade it's getting me a lot of opens on my drives he is playing up on it he is respecting it so if you are somebody that likes to drive a bunch this might be the move for you it's gonna help you do just that right here i'm trying to get space to get the shot off but i just think he's He's gonna be there it's not working out little hezzy right here 360 720 spin behind the back i'm a little bit tired from all the dribbling but i get to the hoop once again 12 to 13 right here he makes a misstep finally i'm able to shoot off of it anytime someone makes a misstep on defense it doesn't matter if the animation is a little bit slow you can use it it got me behind the three-point line it did its job let me know if you guys use the step back what you guys think of it like i said i like it i love it i think it's great for comboing if you're somebody that wants to put this on to get better drives right here he ends up trying to get the quick stop doesn't work out i get the rebound he plucks me though now i gotta play great defense again it's like getting that stop never even happened 12 to 16 he's got sharp takeover so i do have to play high on this man i know he's got to be at least a little bit tired but he's got the sharp shooting takeover so i can't really even give him an open shot even if he's blinking red because he might hit it not going anywhere great defense steps it back i'm jumping shot clock violation man long possession where neither of us scored because i gotta stop he gotta steal he dribbles for another 24 7 16 to 20 i step it back a little bit james harden stop it halfway through spin like i said man i'm loving combo and i can't say that enough do it again he's playing it i go in for the dunk though this was a crazy rim running game right here get the open corner three hit it on him man get him out of here 23 to 18 one more gameplay immediately after against a big i get an open shot it doesn't work out the move gets me open i'm just terrible at timing the shot he stops moving for a second giving me one more shot to get it warmed up it works out i'm not totally sure why he's not moving it's like he plays on offense he isn't there on defense i should have shot that shot because i get a nice ankle breaker but i'm trying to get 
some dribble moves to showcase for you guys. Again, I'm missing shots like crazy. That does happen sometimes, especially those full bars. This is a big man posting me up. I got 25 interior defense. But sometimes when you're six foot six, having block is all you need. Five to four now, stepping back to the three point line. I know he can't keep up with me. If I can just start hitting a couple shots, I can take over on this game. He's trying to bully me. I'm getting great contests right here. I wanna do the move, get an opening. It works out behind the back, step back to the corner bag, looking a little bit like James Harden. He was a very athletic player, not looking too much like it anymore. I'm hoping he has something in the take, though. You know, with the Sixers, Joel's out this series. It looks like they're probably going to end up losing to the Heat. But he's got to come back next year, and they've got to make a push. He's got to do something before his career ends. Yes, he's been a great regular season player. People are always going to think he was a playoff choker, though, if he can't at least get to the finals. And I still think he is capable of that. He doesn't have to be the number one scoring option anymore. He can play behind Joel Embiid. He's still got great shooters on the Sixers to help him out as well. Let me know what you guys think about James Harden in the comments if you guys want to. 10 to 20 though. This game right here, after the first game, this was a bit more of a breeze. Get an ankle breaker right there. Step it back. Wanted the shot. Stun him with the tight handles. To the hoop. Bang. This is Dominic, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.